All right, we got an update to the Grenadier set. We're going to need the RT-97C Heavy Blaster Rifle and a five-piece Grenadier set. But first, let's change up our expertise. I have the uh, a solo build going right now, but it only has one point in cluster bombs, so obviously that won't do. So we'll, let's reset this expertise. And while we are figuring out what points to do, let's get an entertainer both started. So the most interesting part about this is that you're going to be able to throw grenades while your heavy weapon is equipped. We'll see if that also applies to the cluster bombs. I'm sure it will, but you never know. Give a watch and a listen. And you know what, we're, uh, we're going to do something that I'm probably going to hate instantly. And <laughs> we're going to go full bore. On... Is that all we needed? We're going to go full grenade line for this, because... Why not? The question is, what are we going to sacrifice to get that? Should we give up the entire standfast line? Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. Nope, can't go up. Man. Man, oh man, we got 14 points left. Where are we going to put these points? You know, I think I'm going to hate myself if I don't at least have stand fast. Alright, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep that, we'll keep that. And no position secured at all? Man, I don't know if I want that either. Ugh... Uh, hmm. Jeez. Decisions. <laughs> what are we going to do here? I mean, because that's an expensive tree. Like, this one in total is 10 points. This one's... 13. But I feel like we're going to need a lot of axe reduction because those top level grenade attacks, man, they, they're, uh, they're expensive. And 8%, 4 points to get 8% decrease or being in there. But I kind of want the damage increase and the grenade fuse. So I think... Yeah, we're going to do something really dumb that I'm probably really going to hate right off the bat. We're going to make sure we have plenty of action reduction. And plenty of crit. So lots of crit. Lots of damage, lots of action. We still have three points to play with. Given that we've lost so much of that, we're probably going to need a little bit of stim armor. And a little bit of... man. Man. Screw it. Oh, I'm going to hate this so much. Wait, no. I just moved the toolbar down a couple slots, so that way it didn't fill up with a bunch of junk. We'll still keep the rifle on, just so we can pop the, um... Focus fire and the sweeping fire. Let's make sure everything... Man, look at that! This is cancer. I don't like looking at that. 
And I already typed out what I wanted. We're, we're really going to stack that action reduction because throwing grenades is expensive and we're not in a group right now. So this will be for a solo grenadier build, potentially. Whenever she gets a chance. Let's go ahead and start throwing these skills onto my tree. And this is our max level attack tree. Toolbar. Fill out our low level attack toolbar while we're at it. And all right, I already got my stems. Oh man, no enrage from the frontman set. Jeez. All right. Let's get this grenadier set on. And, uh, we'll head to Dathomir. We'll farm some Night Sisters. See how this goes. God, look at that. Glass cannon. We'll, we'll see how much of a cannon we are. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So what is our total action reduction with this build? 30%. Thirty-eight percent, and then our tactical serum. Seven percent. So forty-five percent action reduction when we're in position secure on our grenades. Let's see how this does. Crystal. Oops. Well, for our last man standing where uh, Stanfast used to go, because uh, I'll be hitting just out of muscle memory, I'll be hitting that. When it starts getting a little bit rough. All right, <clears throat> I already don't like my expertise setup for this, so let's see how this goes. Shot on my cluster bomb, which clearly was not three. Action holding up pretty good. Yeah. 
So far. Let's go over here and let's pull this chain. That is really nice, not having to switch weapons to hit those grenades. I do like taking that second off of the... What is it again? Short fuse decreases the fuse on grenades by one second. God, that looks cursed. Oh, man. But, I mean, we're using the max level grenades, so I'm kind of happy with it for what it is. got killed on that one. Alright, well, let's go find an elder somewhere. It is nice not having to uh, switch the rifle. I uh, rather do like that. I would love to take this to Avatar or Hoth. Really anything that has big mobs. I think that would be a good time with this set. Let's keep killing something. We'll run across, blah, blah, run across one eventually. Fifty meters. So still worth having a rifle on your toolbar just for I guess a long pull. And it's an acid element and I have a heat element rifle, so we can still stack our elements on there.
I mean, this is actually is not bad. I'm not going to be able to tank nearly what I normally tank. But, uh, I mean, so far, so good. Not getting crazy fast attacks, though. I feel like that's a big part of the, re the whole reason to do this build. See how we do with the Slayer. tell you what not nearly as tanky but i mean i'm yeah i'm having fun it's kind of a it's it's different for sure Yes, folks, been six. Hmm. All right, well, um, <laughs> God, look at that build, man. Okay, all right, well, I like it. So far, so good. I'll try and do it with some group content, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. But um, overall, man, uh, I gotta admit, that's pretty fun. I still have the rifle up there. I can do those long poles. Maybe, yep, hit that heat dot. Alright, let's see these grenades pop off. Oh, yeah. Sean. Man, and whenever they can make this gun deconstructible and then get one in each element, I think uh, Grenadier will be something a lot of people will get into. I mean, but as far as solo, yeah, you got to stack that at your induction because, man, I was getting low there on a handful of occasions. What's been saving it for that one fight was Adrenaline Rush. Probably should have just fought our way down the cave to get an elder. Oh. 
hoping for more fast attacks, honestly. And getting a free shot on the cluster bomb. Like, maybe if they updated the jewelry set to where if you get that free shot, it refunds you. Make um, five points, that's it. Either that, or make cluster bombs cost five less points, like 15 kill meter points or something like that. I know there was discussion on other servers where they just wanted to nerf. Not nerf it, but make cluster bombs cost more. I think that was a PvP thing. And it almost feels like a waste when you when you don't get at least one fast attack. Cause is this set doing anything with my cooldown on the videos? Yeah, nothing for the cooldown except for the fast attacks. Hmm. Yeah, so if you do a volley of the three grenades and you don't get a fast attack, yeah. Huh, interesting. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Huh. I mean, so far so good, but you know, I'm just out here messing with Night Sisters. Oh, look at that! Ooh, fast attack city. Let's see how that health meter goes down. No, that was it. Alright, well, uh, we still want to find an elder. Let's, let's keep going. Oh, POI. Here we go. Yeah, and I'm still in my ISD suit. Yeah, I think I would switch out that agility for luck running this setup. Because this is clearly a, a damage setup, and we already have a glass cannon expertise set going. Man. I feel really weird just not having this line right here. So yeah, I would probably switch this to a uh, con luck pre-suit. Heavy weapon crit, crit. Heavy weapon damage, I I'm fine with that. But I'd really love to deconstruct this. I'd give up a couple points of DPS to get 8 more crit and another 2 or 3% damage out of the weapon. So we get a total of 15... 25% fast attack chance. Action cost, another 20%. Oh, so we're rocking a lot of action cost reduction right now. Okay. I'm happy with that. 
Oh, we already got a vehicle here. Handful of people here. Oh, and he tried to steal this poor fellow's kill. This is a popular spot. Unattackables here. All right, yeah, let's just go back to uh, Axe of a Men. Find an elder there, because I just kind of I want to see how it holds up in a prolonged fight. Obviously, pretty clear grenadier. This is for mobs. Again, would love to run this in Hoth or Avatar. So let's just go back there and uh, we'll just fire away to the bottom of the cave and attack that elder Spawned. Nope, that one always has a super long timer. So it looks like we're going to pull everything right here. <clears throat> Let's do it. So how much grenade action reduction do I actually have? We're getting 10, 20% from the jewelry set. When I'm in position secured, it's another 30, 50, 58. And my tactical serum. 65% action reduction on throwing max level grenades right now. Okay. You know what? I do like to still keep my heat rifle on there just to proc the dot.
that attack's pretty expensive. We're gonna dumb that one down to focus fire one. Because again, we're just trying to proc uh, the heat dot. So, we don't need that to be the max level attack. Well, that was hella close. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to make our rifle a big time. We're going to have to put some heal potency on that thing. This is a bit of a squish bot build. Finally, actually, started running out of action. All right. Clear out this inventory a little bit. Make sure we keep everything in front of us because we're basically firing a cone AoE. Save the kill me for the next fight. Damage is definitely there, but so is the squish. Obviously, cluster bombs never fa uh, fast attacks. That would be deep. Bell Weavers, an Elder, and a Bull Rancor.
I mean, I popped my entire buff bar down here. But, you know what, guys? Hmm? I like it. I like it. <laughs>